You finally mastered identifying the anode and the cathode, and then your teacher starts talking about non-standard conditions, and you've never felt more cooked in your life. Let's talk about AP Topic 9.10, the Nernst Equation and Non-Standard Electrochemical Conditions. So the first place we need to start is looking at the standard conditions, because if you don't know what the standards are, how are you going to know if something is non-standard? So standard conditions, we have 25 degrees Celsius or 298 Kelvin. We have concentrations of one molar for both our reactants and our products, and we'll have a gas pressure of one atmosphere. So let's look at this reaction between silver and aluminum. This is a redox reaction. Um, this is already balanced. What we, what we want to do is we want to see what happens if we increase the concentration of our Al3 plus from one molar up to 1.5 molar. And you're like, uh, I have no idea. Well, guess what? We're going to go back to Q, the reaction quotient. So Q is going to be equal to the concentration of the products over the reactants because we have two solids. We're just looking at the concentration of Al3 plus over the concentration of Ag plus. If my Al3 plus increases, Q will increase. And you're like, okay, great, but uh, that still doesn't give me my answer. This is where the Nernst equation comes into play. For AP Chem, you will not have to actually do a calculation with this, but seeing that Q is going to increase, that means our cell potential will decrease. Check out Chem with Corinne for more helpful AP content like this.